Okay, Craig here. In this video, I waited as long as possible to still legally fly my Parrot Bebop 2 drone because I wanted to simulate a later, darker time of day in recording a sunset. I'd already turned exposure compensation down quite a bit to get up into position and as you can see it's still pretty well daylight but compensation and exposure has been turned down. Once I got it into position to where I wanted to take some photos I turned exposure down further as you will see shortly when it gets suddenly dark and had it sitting there for about five minutes flight time just so it could get that tiny bit darker and still see the drone while my naked eye and, um, about another 10 20 seconds and this is where I'm gradually turning the exposure down even further and that's about as dark as I could get it once again this is where it's on its darkest setting it's still visible for the drone to my eye and this is just using the auto white balance for this bit here the Parrot Bebop, Bebop 2 camera while it seems to be able to get good footage during the daytime from what I've seen in late afternoon or low light it does get quite grainy but when you're doing videos for personal use that's no major problem uh, it definitely would not be a drone you'd want to use for commercial use doing videos but for the hobbyist and all that you can still get some good sunset views if that's what you're into while still flying in legal times with regards to being able to see your drone during all flight uh, when I got closer to the end of the video and I managed to land the video uh, about five minutes spare before it started getting way too dark I would not have been able to see so I didn't get the time this just right uh, this is still in the standard auto white balance setting and then I changed it to cloudy I think it was and just about now you'll see the difference in the white balance so even with a not so good camera if you want to get better looking sunsets it doesn't matter whether it's a drone or expensive DSL play around the settings until you can find a setting that you like that enhances what you see uh, here, here it's just a white balance change exposure as I said was down as low as possible to get that dark look overall I'm happy enough with the camera for what I want it for which is mainly checking out trees and the roof of the house at home um, since it's my first drone it's good enough for the time that I can use it during the day to get a bit of practice in flying around obstacles around the yard um, down the track here yeah, with like a different drone but once I think about a different drone I'd be wanting to go for my remote, remote pilot's license certificate 
so I can fly later at night and have a camera and drone that's good enough to fly to get shots at this from different areas because without that remote pilot license you can't fly and get good shots at late evening legally if you can't see your drone remember if you're flying a drone follow all the safety rules and regulations don't risk hurting others or losing your drone thank you